What's going on guys, Guns here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. Today I'm going to tell you guys why you have to be playing these postseason moments within MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty. Quickly, if you guys could leave a like down below on this video, definitely helps me out a ton. Also, while you're down there, make sure to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Really cool videos coming out, a lot of content coming to MLB The Show, a lot of content coming on my channel. So, if you guys don't know and you legitimately might not know, the postseason moments are actually located within here. I don't think that's the best way. I wish they could have had a separate thing, kind of like the signature teams that they would have put it in, because I legit could not find it for like five minutes. I was like double checking like did they actually release this? They were talking about it. Where the hell are they? They are right here, the wild card moments. They're pretty simple. You know, it is just six moments, I do believe. Yes, six, count them six. And you end up getting a bonus pack reward where you can choose one of the four brand new postseason players that were released, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Those are also going to be very important. Um, so make sure to stick around for the rest of the video for that. But after you complete all those moments, if you go back and look at the pack actually um you earn one voucher now there's a good chance a lot of you guys have already done this but if you haven't make sure to do this um you're gonna open that pack you get to choose one of those four players they are sellable so you can sell that you can keep it whatever you want but you also do earn a voucher within there which that is the very important thing that you're going to want to make count of this right here voucher can be redeemed in or not that actually it's this one right here mulligan uh, redeeming the legend and flashbacks postseason collection starting October 31st that is going to be around I'm not exactly sure on the fall classic the world series game seven would be um, I'm not too sure but um, on October 31st we're gonna have a legends and flashbacks postseason collection coming into the game and as you guys can see there is a second one right there and all the way down there is a third and a fourth which makes sense they're going to be updating these after each round so the first one was the wild card round this one be the LDS right here, then number three is going to be the LCS, and then finally after the World Series, this fourth voucher is going to be obtainable, and what are those going to be used for? Like it says, a collection right there. If you guys have been new to the MLB The Show franchise, each year we do see a World Series collection where we do have a top player, which is the post or the World Series MVP, so back in 2017 MLB The Show 17 when they started this that year the Astros won it and George Springer won the World Series MVP and I believe he got like a 95 96 overall card and then last year Steve Pierce of course for the Boston Red Sox won World Series MVP and got a 95 96 overall card once again so um, that is definitely something to keep your eye on those are obviously going to be vital and just a quick check if you guys don't know what that means it's going to be right within here in legends and flashbacks this is also where you go to complete signature teams uh right here if you are not aware i've heard questions about that but it will be within here october 31st so make sure don't just do it don't just see um i don't really need an 89 overall card they're only going for 10,000 stubs who the hell cares make sure you're playing these this is the only way that you're going to be able to get that voucher yes these moments are going to be there the entire time they're not going to expire so you don't have to rush out and do them right now but make sure to have them done around that time because you never know maybe this year you guys know they definitely are putting out a lot more sellable content maybe we are going to be selling that top card this year and not have it locked into our collection like it has been in the past so that is very important like i said this is the only way to get those vouchers by playing those moments i assume they might get a little bit more difficult they were pretty easy Easy. I found personally the first six within the wild card moments and then like I said you get that player as well so make sure you're getting those vouchers open those packs and make sure to collect those because they are going to be very valuable once the postseason does end now let's talk a little bit about those players we did see four of them in there right now this is different how they've done it in the past usually they don't release any postseason live content until the very end where they have content from all the way to the start from the wild card round all the way to the world series mvp um but this year 
Of course, now that they're utilizing moments as their primary method of grinding, not programs, um, and now that they've kind of been adapting more of a live content standpoint this year opposed to past years, um, we're going to be getting these cards once the round ends. So, of course, we have the Rays Astros, which play tonight. Hopefully, that doesn't end tonight. You know, hopefully, the Rays can push it to game five. Uh, crossing my fingers for sure. And then tomorrow, we're going to have uh, the Nationals, Dodgers, and also Cardinals, Braves within their game five. So um, who knows what's going to happen, but I think it would be the 10th. Um, everything's going to be wrapped up for sure. That's when a potential game five of the Rays and Astros would be back in Houston. Um, so probably on the 11th or so. I'm not exactly sure how that works out, but we will be getting content for that. And we're going to get new cards. I think it's a good idea to get these cards, is what I'm saying. I think it is a very good idea. Notice these cards are going for a little bit more in price. I think that's a variety of reasons. One, people kind of know that these cards might be used for the collection, and also because the only way to get these cards right now, because they're not in regular packs, I do not believe if you do have any other knowledge with, about that, please let me know down below in the comment section. Um, but yeah, the only way to get these cards are within the moments, and you can only choose one of them. Uh, so I do think it is a great idea to maybe get all of them. For sure, keep the one that you get from your moment collection. I picked Yandy Diaz, obviously, as a Rays fan, and I'm not going to sell him. I wasn't going to sell him regardless um, because he could be used for my all-time Rays team. But this is another incentive to make sure to hold on to that card. And whoever you picked, I think it is very important that you keep them uh, because it said the postseason collection, um, it's obviously not just going to be those vouchers to get like a 96 97 maybe even a 99 overall card i would not be surprised if that's how they do it this year um just because you know, once again, if I have to point out the obvious, we have so many really, really good cards in this game. Um, if they did, it's going to be at least a 97, I think, because that is what the top player of the month card is this year. And I don't remember the top one was last year. I think they never really got higher than 93 um to be honest and the lowest we got this year was a 95 so i think these cards are going to be at least in 97 talking about the world series mvp not all these cards of course they're starting at an 89 hopefully they will get a little bit better as we progress on i'm not exactly too sure what's going to happen uh, but you know we've definitely had some worthwhile candidates you know marcelo zuna hit two home runs um against the braves yesterday uh so that's a pretty big moment maybe he's going to get a card he already has an 89 tops now card but like i said the key point to think about is to grab these cards i do think i am very aware they probably will be going up a little bit after i make this video um, because people are going to be doing that all i recommend put in buy orders on these cards there is a pretty significant gap there's about 3,000 stubs in between save yourself some stubs save your pockets a little bit and do not just be spending them willy-nilly and you will thank me later trust me every Every single stub counts make sure to grab at least you know like i said the one from your moments and maybe grab one or two more i'll probably snipe up all the rest of the three drew pomeranz jesus uh lizardo and steven strasberg and then also keep on the lookout for when we do get these other cards um because they will be worthwhile they will be hopefully a good road series mvp this year you know the last two years springer and steve pierce even though that wasn't a huge name it was still a, a really good card and i imagine they're also gonna have other stuff within that collection as well i'm not too sure they'll probably have some kind of pack some xp some stub rewards which could also be cool as well so make sure play the moments get your card and collect those um because once you get those vouchers and once you get those players on october 31st when that collection goes live we are going to be able to have some pretty cool content so just make sure you're doing that all of them will be appearing within here for now this program is going to run throughout until october 31st first which is a thursday i realize now thank you in my video yesterday i said it was a tuesday for dumb for some dumb reason um so this is all this is where all those wild card uh division series league uh 
the ALDS and NLDS, ALCS, NLCS in the World Series, all of those are going to be within the 8th inning program. That's where you're going to be able to find these. And also, one more thing I want to bring to your attention, that uh, finest cards are going to be start releasing tomorrow. If you look, there is going to be a Twitch SDS live stream tomorrow, which is going to be at 3 p.m. Pacific, uh, 6 Eastern, and 5 Central. Um, they're not only revealing those cards, they are also going to be going live, they did say on their Twitter. So just another clarification from my video yesterday that I was not aware of until they tweeted this morning or last night or one of the two was after I made that video. So just to clarify that, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys are hoping for. Who do you hope wins the World Series MVP so you can get a nice cool diamond card, high diamond card of them? And what do you guys think is going to entail within the World Series or just the postseason collection in general? Let me know your favorites. It seems like the Dodgers might not make the World Series for once. That could be a little bit crazy. Who knows? Maybe the Rays pull the rabbit out of their ass and actually come back and win the next two and, you know, make it on to play the Yankees. Very interesting what's going to happen. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below. The guys are great today. There comes out you. Love is love and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory.